Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, how do I get a warrant set aside? There are precious few universal truths in this world. For instance, the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. Even if you're a flat earther, the earth is going to revolve around our sun. All human beings are mortal, meaning we're all born and we'll all die. And when it comes to warrants, well, they are never, ever going to expire. Yes, just as the sun will rise in the east every morning, precisely as the earth will continue its annual orbit around our sun, and just like each of us will at some point pass on. Another universal truth, more accurately stated, a universal criminal justice system truth, is that unless and until it's either served or vacated, a warrant will never, ever expire. Yep, if you have a warrant, then unless and until it's either served or set aside, it's going to outlive you. The good news is that there are three ways to make a warrant disappear. First, you can surrender. Second, you can get caught. And third, you can petition the judge who issued the warrant to set it aside. As to surrender, if you have a warrant, then you're perfectly free to either walk into a police station or to call the cops to you and voluntarily submit yourself to the authorities. If you do that, then your warrant's going to go bye-bye, but so too will you, at least for a little while. As to getting caught, the net effect of being caught is the same as a surrender, meaning your warrant's going to go bye-bye, but so too will you. The main difference between surrendering and getting caught is that no matter what the circumstances, with a surrender, the cops, the prosecutor, and even the judge are all going to have to acknowledge that you came to them voluntarily through the proverbial front door, as opposed to involuntarily and through the back door, likely in shackles. As to petitioning the court to set aside a warrant, when you want a judge to rule on a matter, quashing or setting aside a warrant included, then you need to prepare a legally sufficient motion, electronically serve it, file it on all relevant parties, calendar it for hearing with sufficient time for the other parties to respond and appear, and then litigate it. That is the legal process, and it's best accomplished by a criminal defense lawyer. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.